Last night at the Bozeman School Board meetings, parents took the stand to share their opinions on this book, The Marrow Thieves, being taught in the ninth grade curriculum at Gallatin High. Keeping this book in the curriculum fosters religious bias towards the church and the Catholic students who attend district schools. According to a York University summary, The Marrow Thieves is a fiction survival story set in Canada where so-called recruiters who can no longer dream harvest bone marrow from indigenous people to give them that ability again. From a summary on lit charts, the deeper meaning of this novel is that indigenous people are seen to be nothing other than a commodity through the eyes of the white government. But some parents raise concerns about the book. By keeping this book in the curriculum, you are willing to tolerate the presence of poison. You are willing for students' minds to be poisoned by a sophistry of Canadian history, a characterization of religious as murderers, depictions of Catholics as henchmen for Indian genocide, linguistic rot, the sexualization of minors. While other parents believe it's important for kids in ninth grade to be exposed to such literature. I think this book uh, encourages critical thinking by students. I think it's appropriate for the age group. I think it's well written and it has historical and literary uh, value. One parent suggested that banning this book would lead to issues over other books in the future. If we begin to ban books because the narrative doesn't align with one family's beliefs, where do we draw that line on banning books? The Board of Trustees voted to keep this book in the ninth grade curriculum. Superintendent Casey Bertram believes this book offers learning opportunities about indigenous people through storytelling. Um, some historical components of Native Americans in Montana, the, uh, the family component of um, indigenous populations and storytelling and protecting those stories. Also there's a native language component in there that um, is important in Montana public schools. Bertram reminds us parents can opt their child out of reading any book. We have parents that opt their children out of books for whatever reason um, and whatever that course uh, of study is then the teacher looks for an alternative title that can meet some of the same learning goals. In Bozeman, Kristen Merkel, MTN News.